cryptocurrencies were invented to get rid of trust. You don't need to trust me. I could be the biggest piece of shit in the entire universe. I don't matter. Code matters. That you run when you mint your coins. I don't fucking matter. The Hex website doesn't matter. It's non-essential. There's no essential effort on my part. I don't matter. How is everyone on this fine Christmas Eve year 2023? It is Sunday morning, but I am watching the F and Hangout from Friday, so that would have been two nights ago. Trap would want me to point out the blow-off top that some of the people did. But I'm in a loving mood. SJ asks the panel what was your favorite part of this year now that we're at the end of it? And how is the outlook forward? SJ answers her own question and points everyone to the memorial NFT that Mana made for SJ to memorialize her cat who passed last month. Have you heard of Mana the NFT artist? It has been brought to my attention that Mana is able to sell NFTs for a few million pulse chain coins. But also residuals are made with each purchase thereafter. I am not sure if it is an automatic tax or collected by the third-party marketplace. But let's see what the dollar value is for this example. Mana make a sale for 9 million, then gets 245 million to date on passive sales. A total of 254 million pulse chain coin equates to $15,748 at current prices. Oh fuck, what are these people doing? In case you just rose up in your chair. I want to remind you that Mana is kind of the popular chick on the block right now. But do you think this NFT is worth 9 million coins? And how about that leverage of time versus pay? Wow. For SJ's cat memorial, that piece is attached to her emotionally. People love custom art of their pets. I've known that starving artists can always sell pet portraits. But the cat memorial is a custom piece which would not scale outside of a culture being tapped. Let's break down the emotions that may cloud a person's analysis of NFTs. I see that the value of an NFT is the visual interaction. Some people have suggested that I place architecture plans or smaller inventions plans into NFT format. Within those images, valuable information is sought when the mind inquires. I think the 3D image memorial works the same way. Information available for reference. But I wouldn't want to make any of my professional floor plans into NFT until I know I get automated royalties, same would go for the plastic 3D prints I do. Before we move on to the next topic, I want to point out the recent issues NFTs have had. Ethereum updates have locked positions of the past and NFT artists like Mana are required to make new contract addresses if they want to continue selling. This happened to the staker class NFTs they have been organizing a complete relaunch. But back to talking about SJ, I think we need to tell the women what we want, allow the turmoil in their life be their own, but here we are, relating to them inside our community, and asking of them to do the things we want. Because what I think I am seeing, is the females that are the fire signs or the entertainers or the people most vocal on social media. Imagine if we told SJ where we want hexagons to go, and leave it to the goodness within her, to organize the coexistence of our wants, within our community, of which she has so much clout. Speaking of, I wonder what Crypti Girls DMs look like. Who are these people that buy Hex and Watch Girls for the sake of friendship? This reminds me of a short I saw featuring DCC. Dollar Cost Crypto. He says, crypto is a sports team mixed up with a religion that has a financial product. And he says that no one will admit that though. I'll repeat that. He says crypto is a sports team mixed up with a religion that has a financial product. Good stuff. When was the first time you read SY Vive? When was the last time you gave it a chance? Are you where you want to be right now? How was your year? Have you got plans to make yourself better this coming year? I do. You know what I want you to do to tell me right now that you are making the choice to make next year your bitch. Just press the fucking like button right now. Next, we are going to speculate what is going on in Hexologist's head. The guy doesn't follow me back. His profile pic looks like he is shaking his finger at me personally. No, I ain't gonna follow you back few. I have also taken note that he follows about the same amount of people as Richard. Richard is at 1407 and Hexologist is at 1483. Quite close. Is one influenced by the other? I don't know. So I went looking. And this gal called Tess Tickles with 118 followers was a kick in the nuts. Hexo is following Trump and UFC fighters and Miss Tickling Tess. The world is not fair. Laugh out fucking loud. Back to the last F and hangout, RG3 is having to walk a fine line. Early in the stream he addresses the quote bitches in our community. He suggests people stop complaining about other people's entrepreneur efforts, and admits that not all of them are successful, but a natural selection will take place as your bags get pumped and he sees you on the flip side. 
I would challenge him in saying that many of these ideas are not unique and not well thought out and lack professional business planning for the sake of getting a token ticker to market only for that. To be the climax. The sale is the climax. Not the way it weaves into our lives, which in most cases is inexistent. So later on in the FN Hangout funding Jim brushes over some criticism he received over the week. He doesn't mention it was from Hex is the way, aka Highway. But we all know who got in his head. Whoop whoop. I hear Famous is going to join Trap Gravity's Christmas stream. I wonder what these two alphas will be entertaining us with. I will be in the background making sure Trap doesn't fuck up the controls. I introduced the controls to him last night, he showed a lot of interest. So I think this will be fun and he will be creative. Link is in the description so you can click notify me for this 4pm central Christmas stream. Yesterday I mentioned the outdated staker app that launched with this community in the first year or two of Hex. It was a great app to have on your phone, checking on your portfolio multiple times per day. It gave you the total numbers right in front, bold and large. Similar to what Selmy is telling you to do lately. But I have come up with a staker app replacement. I have come up with the graphics and thought about the way it would interact with the user. I don't know if this would need an app software or if it could stay on a website, but the largest numbers on the screen would be the earned hex for the day by this specific wallet. The next numbers of interest would be the number of T-shares. This would be translated graphically into the number of working bodies on the screen. More working bodies, more hex payout that day. The little graphics could be little JIFS that have rigid motions but stay in place. And the final number of interest that changes over time is the total value of the portfolio wallet down at the bottom. Available for your eyes when you have interest. But not the focus of this interaction, the primary interaction here is the game gaining more workers to gain more tokens on the daily. Snow or shine, awake or sleeping, dead or alive bitch. So, back to Staker app, the Gen 1 good old days. Hex is the way had addressed the developer Steph on December 16th, he says we mourn the death of Staker app, not really. But Steph has been preoccupied with a coin of his own instead of making a Staker version 2 that would save the funds of many stuck users. Yikes. Oh, and get this. He gives it a hashtag of here we go again. Because it's another person that saw a jump to the idea of tokenizing something. And ultimately, that tokenized idea is introduced to the same economical power that could buy hex tokens instead. Most times I like to see how things pan out when a new thing comes around. I like to analyze its failure. But I don't take joy in its optimism. I don't know where to drop the axe, so typically, I do it after someone deserves excommunication. And not any sooner. Has crypto made you guys more hard-shelled? Has crypto sped up you social development? Here is Flassless Tools if you don't know him already. Look for him. He knows how to read the blockchain. And isn't afraid to be different. Have you used the hashtag Hex Civil War? It's a good one. Here is post from Highway again that calls out Hex clones. Fuck y'all. Do y'all remember the first time Hex Maxi, then quickly after hearing RH Maxi? This was a term used to get you to loosen up. Let your guard down. Well, hexagons have come across strangers trying to pry them on their hex tokens. Let's take a look at what Joni Chaos said on the subject. Sometimes the first thing that came into this community was Hexy, and it split the community in half. We had civil war in Hex when Hexy came in. Guess what happened? The guys run. It was over. We had Axion, Hex Business, Hex Money, uh, uh, Hex 2X, uh, Tweak and Air, okay? We, we have some people in the community that are still doing Coin of the Month Club, for God's sakes. But wait, there's more. Now, I like Joni. I think he is one of the few people who has integrity and is not afraid of getting in front of the camera. And, this is a big end, he has been here from the beginning. But, a guy named Hexorcist doesn't seem to like Johnny. He thinks Joni has been paying for bots. Patting his outreach. I don't con about you guys. But I make a point to hear Joni when he puts out a short video with his Twitter post. Now, I don't give a shit for his scary movie bones makeup art, but I respect that the man creates things. He has discipline. So I'm gonna have to ask you guys, what do you think about this claim? I hate the idea of it. Have a day. Be the good shining through. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be